Here we go then, another player review, this time the 84 rated Claude Maurice, who does have a really interesting card, because you can see instantly elite pace and very, very good dribbling, but he's not a striker, he's a midfielder, and he looks like he could be a very, very solid centre mid option with the right chem style, and that's ultimately what we're going to put to the test today. Now, he does come out of packs as a cam, but let's be honest, that shooting and passing, it's not going to really cut it too much at this stage. So we're going to drop into centre mid and see how he gets on in that role. I know some people are going to look to move this guy to striker, but... Like, midfield actually looks like the kind of role for him. He's very, very similar uh, to that rip out that we got not too long ago. So we'll see how he gets on in midfield. And maybe we will try and fair up the field. But for now, we're going to keep him in that mid role. So what is it to like about the guy? Four star skills is quite nice. Three star weak foot, not so much on a midfielder. Outside the foot shot being the only trait really applicable to us. Um, in game stats wise, there is some really nice attributes in the agility section, in the dribbling section, sorry. One of them being that agility of 98. Also good in game dribbling of 87. Passing stats are not too bad either with 83 short passing and 81 long passing. And obviously the pace, we don't need to talk about brilliant stats in that area. But defensive and physically, he's also quite good. So he's, you know, fairly well rounded. And we're going to apply the anchor camp style, as you can see, and that really does make him a very, very well-rounded card. And hopefully, he's going to be, you know, a really tough player to beat in at that midfield, because not only is he going to have 90 pace, well, more than 90 pace with the anchor camp style, about 95 pace, but he's also going to have 89 strength with the anchor camp style too, so... Yeah, hopefully him and Kante can form a really nice partnership together. If you want to see reviews on either Mbabu or Schulz, then check out my second channel. There is a link to that in the description. And uh, there's already a bunch of other reviews on that channel as well. It is a bit of a weird one because in previous FIFAs, I swear he's a midfielder. Not a midfielder, sorry, a winger. And he is exactly that. But he got these centre mid cards in last year's game, which were actually... They, they weren't bad at all. They really, were, really weren't considering the rating. Anyway... Here is his card with that anchor chem style applied. And like I said, it's just easier to visualize on footbin than it is on Ultimate Team because it shows you the boosts. Like, he becomes a really well-rounded midfielder. Now, I won't lie, I'm not expecting, like, you know, greatness from him. I'm not expecting him to be, you know, elite. But I'm hoping it's still going to be pretty good in this role. So, let's get in some games and let's find out. Well, that's not a team I was expecting to come up against. It's a nice team, don't get me wrong, but it's very rare you don't see a team with a special card in. Still, though, great players and just a random messy up front as well off chem. Here's a chance now. Maurice puts the ball down, and that was not actually where I aimed it. I aimed it at more central because I was hoping to hit Ben Yedda. Fair being tracked down by Claude Maurice. Nice. Bit of AI defending there. Oh, good intercept. Oh, almost a double intercept, but Werner's picked it up. What a challenge from Upa. Nice. Good intercept. And because of that intercept, Benz is in space, and Benzema does not miss those kind of chances. And there's half time. We go in at the break with a pretty comfortable free goal lead. But I think it's fair to say my opponent does have a good argument for it not to be free nil, as you can see from the expected goals. Oh, I was going to say nice intercept, but the touch was super heavy. Benzema. Claude Maurice with a nice ball into Mane, who just couldn't quite take it under his spell. Claude Maurice to make himself a club hero, he hits the post, but he wins us the game! He wins us the game in dramatic fashion! Oh, what a way to win it! Unfortunate with the long shot, but his positioning took him into a position to score the goal. Wins the header, and surely wins us the game in injury time. Well, it was almost a case of Kieran being the biggest bottler, and I still am a big bottler. But I'm a bottler that brought it back and won the game in the end. Claude Maurice literally went from zero with the penalty giveaway to Hero with the last second winner. Finally, we get into a game and we're gonna get tested in the midfield department in this game. My opponent's got a very nice side. Nice intercept there from the Frenchman. 
There's our man Claude Maurice who gets absolutely wiped out there, but he does well to stay on his feet. Oh, just did enough just to get that ball out of his feet there. I don't think set pieces are really his thing, but that doesn't mean we can't go for it, right? Never know what will happen. Not the worst effort in the world. I felt like we put more power in than it was shown, but oh well. Okay, half time in at this one. It's a slim lead, and neither side are really taking their chances. Um, could definitely do with getting um, Claude Maurice on the ball a little bit more, but um, right now he's a bit all over the place. But we're getting used to him. Hopefully, we can see more from him in the second half. Chances Mana tried to come forward, and uh, Maurice put a lot of pressure on him there and made sure the output was not clean. And yet, Nice intercept. Here we go, a lot of open space now. Benzema, get on your bike. Going for it from distance. Oh, it's not a bad effort, but just lacked the whip to beat the goalkeeper. Okay, so didn't get the win in that game. It ends level, but it is what it is. Um, I thought Claude Maurice was okay. Didn't do anything too crazy. And Kante was definitely the more dominant midfielder. Also worth noting, like, even Kante is the, like, the more defensive option, like... Maurice was the one that was sat back a bit more, which was very, very odd, but is what it is. Okay, so, a few games played with this card. What do I have to say about this item? Um, I think the first thing that comes to mind is, where's the hype? Why, why, is this, why does this item have hype? It's currently the most popular card on Footbin, and I'm unsure why. Um, yeah, I'm reading the comments, and people are like, if this guy was called Renato Sanchez, he would be 600k. Eh, maybe. Um, yeah, there's some interesting comments, but anyway... I don't feel the hype of this card. I really, really don't. I'll say straight away. I don't think it's a brilliant item. I don't think it's terrible by any means, but I don't think it's great. Now, some people might be like, Kieran, well, why didn't you just play him as a cam and give him an attacking chem style? I could have done that. I definitely could have. And he does have some good attacking stats with that. But he's still not quite as good as some other attacking options with in the game. And with him having such a well-rounded card, I do feel like a lot of people will opt to play this guy in a midfield role. And uh, the popular chem styles for this guy uh, within the game are currently... Anchor, Deadeye, Powerhouse, and Shadow. So you can see there's like three defensive heavy chem styles there. So people are clearly consider considering this guy as a midfielder. So that's why we reviewed him in that role. And as a centre mid, I've got to say, not that great. Um, like He's not awful by any means, but he just really, really didn't stand out. And he did fail to have, you know, an impact um, on the game compared to my other midfield options. Obviously, his partner was Kante, who is obviously fantastic, so maybe that made him feel a bit worse by comparison, but um, yeah, honestly, I didn't feel too much with this card. It still has got its positives, though. Obviously, the pace is class, no issues there, and the dribbling is all right, but it is worth noting them low reactions, which do affect that kind of area of his game. And uh, the passing was, once again, all right. I feel like with a passing heavy chem style could have been much better, but his passing as it stands was okay. And the same, to be fair, can be said for his shooting for a midfielder. With the right chem style, sure, they could have been better. Defensively, he, once again, is okay. Nothing too outstanding. But since he's got so much pace about him, he's got the ability to track back and uh, make a tackle. And if he misses, he's got still got the pace to track back and have another go, as long as, you know, obviously he won't run out of time and the player hasn't uh, already shot. And his physicals in general are okay. And ultimately, that's what this card is. It's an okay card. It's pretty average in the grand scheme of things of midfielders. So because of that, I just can't see why he's at his current cost. Like, I really, really can't. He should be much cheaper, in my opinion. Um, in comparison to, like, other league on midfielders, um, who else would I use over him? Just let me pull them up. Uh, you've obviously got Renato Sanchez, goes without saying, is a much better card. If I'm looking for, you know, a league on centre mid slash DM option, that inform Tushmeni is still a very viable option at this stage of the game. He's absolutely class. So, uh, yeah, value for money on this card isn't great. And I'm just not seeing the hype. I'm sorry, I'm just not. If you've used this card and he's been really good for you, I would love to hear from you in the comments. But for me, he just didn't feel all that great. Even his dribbling, although it was good, I didn't think it felt fantastic in-game. Um, so, yeah, that's a shame. It's an odd one. It's an odd one. As I say, I've seen some good things on Footbin about this card, but for me, he just did not perform like that, and I'm just going to be straight up honest in these reviews, and, yeah, this guy was a bit on fraud watch for me. He, he won me a game with a nice late goal, which is great, but that does not paper over the cracks of uh, the 
over 80 minutes that he dished up where he wasn't that great. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear yours in the comments. Anyway, that's my opinion on this card as a centre mid. As I say, maybe it is a lot better at Cam, but we tried him out at centre mid and it just wasn't to be. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.